sio kuroko umeroko kama uko resa negative umekuwa na miscarriages na nini just know that is the cause mm -hmm. na kama uko brand group uh, resa negative please just uh, follow your doctor's instruction mm -hmm. it can save you yeah. zinaweza chapo hiyo mtoto then uh, zina interfere with the red blood cells si ati inapiga tu magumi eh. <laughs> ni the antibodies mm -hmm. zinashikana then uh, the red blood cells zina hemolysis mm -hmm. siki hemolysis sana hiyo mtoto anaweza kufia ndani in utero ama pia anaweza enda tu akingangana up to term na inakuwa ni ambeti tiliki sana eh kuna wanavikanga tamu lakini wale wengi mm. ni miscarriages death in utero vitu kama hizo mm. yes welcome to the fourth episode of the show and uh, we've done a whole month of posting content and i hope so far you've learned so many things and remember if you have any questions post them in the comment section and we will invite Miano again and then we can go through all the questions that you've shared and we can respond. This week, however, we'll be talking about the blood group. We will learn the types of blood groups. We will also learn the impact it has if you have negative resource factor and positive resource factor. So I think from here we'll just dive right into it. Miano. Yes. The f today's agenda is uh, blood groups. Yeah. Why is it important to, to test for blood groups? Uh -huh. uh, for blood group, uh -huh. uh, they are, we will look at uh, maybe two ways. Eh? We will first talk about the resource factor. Uh -huh. You know, for blood group, you know, when you talk about blood group, you know, we have ya ABU uh -huh. na resource factor. Yeah. Kwa mwenye anjui resource factor, ni either ukue positive or negative. Mm -hmm. eh? Unasikia mtu anasema I'm O positive mm -hmm. or O negative, mungine I'm B positive, mungine B negative, vitu kama hizo. So hiyo the negativity and the positivity ndi inaitua resource factor. Mm -hmm. So eh, ni muhimu before maybe you get into marriage, mupimwe brand group, diyo mukae mkinjua kama kuna maybe shindi ineza tokea, data in life maybe i affect mtoto wenu ama ikunje ilete mambo yenye maybe mm. itawasumbua kama familia eh okay. so for kidogo yeah but kwanza tuambie the blood groups that zenye zina exist okay mm. sawa sawa mm. so brand groups zenye zina eh, exist ni eight mm. brand group eight yes oh mm. nasikia ni kama i just know for you know for you know <laughs> why mm. because there is positive and negative oh. if you are a mm positive and the other person has a negative so those are two different things also i can be a, uh, a i mean it's a and a positive and a negative yes then b yes b negative and b positive a b positive and a b negative then o positive and o negative so those are eight uh, yeah Oh. Mm. Or you can tunaweza kuata hiyo yako pia tuseme kuna mbura ni lakini itakapoa. Ni sawa sawa. So now that you know the blood groups. Yeah. Why is the resource factor so important? So the resource factor hiyo mm. yenye tumesema the positive or negative mm. eh? kuna ugonjwa inaitango wa hemolytic disease mm -hmm. of the newborn yenye wanga sana ina affectiwa na mothers who are resus negative. Mm -hmm. Haimaanishi kama mama ni resus negative ako na makosa hapana. Ni ile tu eh, akipata mimba maybe the partner is positive and the mother is negative. Mm -hmm. Hapo ndio issue inatokea anga. Mm -hmm. But kama wote wako negative wako sawa. Kama mzee ni yako negative na mama ako positive again hakuna shinda. Mm -hmm. But if the mother is eh, negative and the father is positive anaweza maybe ule mtoto watapata kuna chances atakuwa eh lessas positive mm. nao mwili kenye inafanyanga huyo huyo mtoto akiwa uko ndani remember there is uh, no way that uh, the blood of the, the child mixes with the blood of the mother eh? mm. so huyo mtoto the first pregnancy itaka ikae vizuri up to time eh? mm. sasa pale kwa delivery of course eh, unajua hiyo wakati inakuanga somehow messy na mm. kuna damu hapa na pale so damu ya mtoto inaweza mix na ya mama mm. kidogo mm. then hizo rent plant cells zikiingia kwa system ya mama all the 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 antibodies eh, for the positivity zinaitango D eh, then D antigen eh, zikiingia sasa mwili ita identify hiyo ni kama 
another pathogenic infection mm. it identify ni kama hii ni viral infection ione ni kama bacteria fulani imekuja so kama kawaida ina produce antibodies, antibodies yeah. these antibodies will be very specific to fight against the positivity sawa sawa mm. so wakiamua kupata mtoto wa pili na kuwe positive by any chance huyo mtoto akuwe positive eh? akianza ku develop maybe brand maybe to say ni around 5 eh, months pregnancy to 6 eh? mm. itamchapa mbaya antibodies itatuma siambue ile mnyama ilikunja um, or the pathogen yenye ilikuwa ndio tuka produce the specific uh, anti antibodies imekuja mm-hmm. tena mchape sawa sawa mm-hmm. so zinaweza chapo hiyo mtoto then uh, zina interfere with the red blood cells si ati inapiga tu magumi eh? <laughs> ni the antibodies mm-hmm. zina shikana then uh, the red blood cells zina hemolysis mm-hmm. siki hemolysis sana hiyo mtoto anaweza kufia ndani in utero ama pia anaweza enda tu akingangana up to term na inakuwa ni ambeti tiliki sana eh kuna wanapikanga tamu lakini wale wengi mm. ni miscarriages death in utero vitu kama hizo mm. yes oh. mm. and then the, 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 the another issue is sasa hii the second pregnancy ikichapwa sasa the antibodies zinaongeza tena zinakuwa ni kama zine zime renew zinakuwa even stronger so kukunja ingine ya the third pregnancy inachapwa so with it, with every pregnancy the antibodies the anti antibody yes, the antibodies yeah the antibodies increase yeah in strength and uh, in, in amount yeah mm. okay yes um so mm-hmm. i have had my first child yeah and i've delivered them safely mm. but i'm i'm at a risk yeah. of kupata mtoto mwingine yes and then they die before term yeah nini naweza fanya kuzuia hiyo to happen so that I'm able to carry my pregnancy to term and give birth to a kid who has a different fact, racist factor than mine so kitu ya kwanza, ya kwanza mkiamua mnaingia into marriage tumesema ni muhimu watu wafanyiwe brand test mm. brand grouping test so kama ama, ama kama unajua wewe ni racist negative na umepata hiyo pregnancy of course you go for the ANC profile na pia inakuwa ng mandatory kila mtu afanywe brand group ine mm. yenye unafanywa hiyo ya A O B and uh, the rest as one eh? so kama uko negative uh, hata utaambiwa unjipange na the, the injection is around 8000 na itango anti d immediately yes it's very expensive and uh, a lot of Kenyans especially at this time of economic crisis mm. wanashindwa ku afford mm. sawa sawa mm. and there are those who even ignore hata kama wako na pesa wanasema uh, i buru sawa sawa mm, liwe 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 na pia wanaponeanga mm. unaweza sikia amepata mtoto maybe amepata mtoto negative mm. sawa sawa mm. so akipata mtoto negative eh awe, ata kuwa sensitized mm. kuna mwingine atapata hiyo positive lakini kuna mahali tu Mungu wake tu akuwa mm. sensitized ama vitu kama hizo so atapata mm. wa pili mm. tu vizuri But, so yes nime nime mimi nime uh, umesema daktari yeah. amesema ni dungo hiyo sindano mm. so nime dungo yeah. then Okay now this is how the drug works mm. nimekwambia inaitwa anti anti roga moro anti d eh? mm. so unafaa kundungwa before the days kwa sababu mm. yes after delivery in fact it is uh, in andungango uh, immediately after delivery oh after delivery of yeah. my first child yes, of the of your first child mm-hmm. sawa sawa mm. so una inakuwa iko hapo maybe imenuliwa kama ni kunua imeko hapo then uh, nasi ni kundunga tu akindunga eh, zile the, the, the antigen before zingia kwa mwili then is it trigger your immune system to produce the antibodies itakuwa zime capture na zimetolewa na kitu inaitwa reticular endothelial system mm. eh takui metoreo ali yes mm-hmm. itolewa kwa system before mwili njua kuna kitu kama hiyo mm. mm. jo shinda inatokea mwili inajua kuna kitu kama hii then in produce something again state then wapili akikunja ndio anacha mm. so mnashika kwa hiyo kangapo hiyo njia yenye inaenda ndio mwili ya identify hiyo ndio mnaishikia mnatoa so assuming mm. i the first child was born yeah. akazaliwa vizuri mm. then the second one died pre, preterm yeah that means already the antibodies niko nazo yeah that then is we that identify is. the cause yeah. after now maybe in the third pregnancy yeah what do you do in such that in such cases no that one uh, in a kwanga ambetri ke cause uh, even the anti d can not work you already have the anti 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 bodies you are sensitized already but ukipata uh, maybe the pregnancy una kwanga na close monitoring of your doctor 
to just try and see whether you can lead to term unaweza kuwa maybe drugs zingine zina maybe suppress immunity kidogo tu unajua hii ni mambo ya immune system mm. ndio isi isiende ichape hiyo mtoto yeah mm. Mm. but wow. inakuwa 50 50 hiyo most in most cases it does not work so you're trying to tell me that yeah. if i don't know my blood group na nipate mtoto wa kwanza wa pili ya kufe mm. th- that means i can have predispose myself to um sub to uh, nini like nitakuwa napata watoto wa kiki miskari e, hata miskari njesi inakuwa mingi kabisa mm. mm. oh. na sio lazima kuwa miskari hata kuna ngine inafika up to term mm-hmm. but hiyo mtoto anazaliwa akiwa green eh? wengi wana wananoto ndio nataka kueleza hiyo point usishtuke sana eh? <laughs> mtoto anazaliwa green in color mm. unajua kwa nini mm. kwa sababu hizi cells unakumbuka nikisema hemolysis mm. when the red blood cells hemolyze sina produce kitu inaitwa bilirubin mm, sawa sawa mm. na hiyo bilirubin inatoleangwa na the liver mm, ina ndio unaona stool tunakula maybe ugali ya white but stool itakuwa tu yero mm. kama unjakula sukuma na vitu kama hizo mm, eh mm. ni hiyo bilirubin inakuwa converted to other things mpaka sasa inatoroa through the intestines mm. eh? sasa unajua liver ya mtoto ni kidogo sana mm. na hizo cells zina rupture rapid rating kabisa kabisa so inakuwa overwhelmed eh? ingine inabaki kwa system mm. then bili rubins mm. sasa inabaki kwa system uh, hence sasa unapata huyo mtoto wako maybe greenish in color but akizaliwa na ko life kuna kwa na je ya ku handle mm. mm. kuna so laita na wake up akiwa green na they are not alive yes yeah. e, sasa unajua sasa hiyo ni tunaongea mwenye amezaliwa akiwa alive mm. eh, eh. Mm. maybe kuna mama sasa hiyo na mtoto wake ametoka ni green akashtuka sana mm. that's bili rubin Are there common myths and misconceptions that surround blood groups that we come across? Eh wangi wa, watu wengi Kenya wanafanyanga au maybe kitu ya kwanza ni kuigno mambo ya antindi wakiambiwa actually I know I know a few eh, na wengine wanasema hizo miscarriages wakipata maybe ni kurogo mm. na staffs kama hizo but it's not through these things make sense. Mm. Mm. Sio kurogo umerogo kama uko resa zenekate umekuwa na miscarriages na nini? just know that is the cause mm. na kama uko brand group eh, lessers negative please just eh, follow your doctor's instruction mm. it can save you yeah. mm, it can save you from a lot and eh, peer there is eh, these people who maybe can conduct an abortion or a miscarriage maybe a pregnancy of eh, maybe you miscarriage a pregnancy of maybe seven months or six months eh, you, you see this baby have started to develop the the, the brand sawa so, sawa so, So when this brand again uh, goes into a system again the body will generate the antibodies. Mm. Sasa ukipata the actual pregnancy maybe unataka ku keep nini inachapa. Mm. Na unjua wengi wa wangi hivyo maybe kama ni msichana anasoma ye yeah, na ameona amepata hiyo awesi embarrass mama yake anataka tu kufanya kikitu ye yeah, mm. ajiondoke hataki kujua the repercussions. Mm. Eh. So kama unajua brand group na imefanyika hiyo and just go for anti-D. Mm. It's good to be safe yeah. than to regret. Mm. Yeah. I think that's all about the lessers factor. Mm. So cause we have talked about the how it, it, it happens and how you can pro- prevent it. Mm. So now we go to the Himbai ABO mm. in compatibility. That is how it's called. Oh. Cause we, yes. So there's these the hemolytic disease of the newborn that mm-hmm. is caused by lesser factor yes, input lesser factor and then yeah. now we go into abo abo so yeah. abo is the blood group mm. yeah the blood group now is the, the which, a, which ones the, the a, mm-hmm. a, a b mm-hmm. uh, and uh, the o yeah yeah so how but in this case uh-huh. we just talk about o yeah. i will tell you why yeah Hey, mm. let's delve into it because okay. I've never heard of it. You have never uh, you know it's rare and it's not severe yeah. like uh, the the rest as one, eh? mm. but uh, it's also we are here to inform people so it's good to talk about it uh, so that people can understand themselves better. Mm-hmm. Eh? So when you are brand group is O uh, is so eh? you can have antibodies A and B. Mm-hmm. Naturally these antibodies are from a class which is called IgM IgM do not screw the placenta and they are friendly yeah? but uh, they are 1% in the population no the, this 1% is the one we are talking about because I have told you it's not common eh? but even that mwananchi deserve to hear this mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so there is this 1% yenye inakuanga na antibodies A and B naturally zinaoka naturally eh? mwenyako O 
akona antibody A and B naturally but from IgM class mm -hmm. eh? kuna 1% yenye nakuanga na antibody A and B and uh, which is which come from a class of IgG mm -hmm. so, mm. so sasa hapo ndio shinda iko mm. IgG inapitanga the placenta mm. so, mm. so hii capacity tumesema akipata mtoto mwenye ni A ama B sasa hapo ndio unataka ushike vizuri eh zile antibody zitakuja zichape huyo mtoto mm. Mm. na hii haitangonjea the second pregnancy at you request stronger ama the third itaanza na the first mm. now that is the difference between the the immunotic disease of the newborn due to rhesus factor and a or b incompatibility mm. eh? hii inaanza na hiyo ya kwanza cause naturally the antibodies are there mwili yako ina produce yenye ziko na IgG hence as ukipata maybe you are part na tuseme ni brani group A mm. or brani group B most probably the babies you get you can get A or O if he is A if uh, you if your partner is B the children you can get is either B or O mm. so, mm. Mm. so if uh, in that case you get a child who is brani group A and remember you have this uh, antibody now your body will detect this one as a pathogen and uh, will act against the baby that you pass through the placenta and uh, cause the hemolysis now mm. yeah Sasa, mm -hmm. the e hemolytic disease of the newborn yeah. because of ABO incompatibility. Yes. Mtoto atazaliwa kikaaje? Eh, at first, eh, although I've seen that it's not severe, mm -hmm. in some cases it can also cause a, a miscarriage mm -hmm. or in utero death. Mm -hmm. The fetus inaweza kufia ndani na it causes miscarriage. Mm -hmm. Na pia inaweza kufia ndani na it causes kutoka sasa hapo ndio, madaktari wanaingilia ndani. Mm -hmm. Na pia inaweza end up to term but you tanot kama huyo mtoto alikuwa affected maybe atakuwa maybe ingredient kana bilirubin levels will be high mm -hmm. i talked about the bilirubin mm -hmm. levels and what have you due to the hemolysis of the yeah. red blood cells mm -hmm. basically what it does it, it just immolizes the red blood cells mm -hmm. now when you immolize the red blood cells you see why interfering with the fetus yeah. yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and is there anything you can do like once you get it today mm -hmm. during this pregnancy yeah. can you prevent it in subsequent now that one because uh, you are having the antibodies naturally mm -hmm. and these are your antibodies uh, that is how you are created uh, you cannot remove those antibodies mm -hmm. at first mm -hmm. and uh, the only thing you can do uh, if you have ever experienced uh, such a condition maybe in your first pregnancy it's good to go to your doctor na pia ndio anaambia ngo ukisikia maybe kuna discomfort ya your pregnancy na vitu kama hizo just go see your doctor mm -hmm. be assessed ambiwa kama kuna shida mm -hmm. ama kama hakuna pia uende nyumbani yeah. rather than waiting in e progress mm -hmm. there are ways to yeah. solve this mm. Mm. Oh, okay. yeah we have come to at the end of this week's show and i hope you've learned and keep asking the questions if you have any and we will invite Miano for a Q&A and we're going to answer all the questions that you have asked in the meantime we next week we're going to be talking about fertility and the impact it has in couples so stay tuned and until then Make good choices and be safe.